something, uh, Jerry, something that we have really worked for a long time is a wild pack. And that was the first original idea for the M356 to release. We have so many new blends that we we have become, you go to our lab that we call, it's like a, it's a, it's like an amazing paradise. You get here, here, you get the little tobacco, make this great blend, no blend, we put it aside. Well, now we have so many blends that we have that we don't know what to do with it. And we said, fine, they're all good. We're gonna have our consumer that don't have the opportunity that we do to come to our factory and sit down and try the blend. So we brought the factory aging room, tasting room idea to the consumer at the store. This little box has 10 cigars, has two of five previously unreleased small batch blends. And they're a small batch because when the one we'll choose, we can only do a small batch. We don't have a lot of tobacco. Five different blends. Every cigar comes on the sides and we glue this, we glue this. We uh, we tape this because believe it or not, I'm sure you're not gonna be surprised. Cigars do walk out of the boxes here. Yeah. Uh, really? Yes. So <laughs> so we it's got tape on the bottom. So everyone will have the blend number. You have the WP one and then the blend number, okay? And that's everyone. Then you have the W the two with a different number. And they all had a different number based on when we produce it. Saturday, this day, and we do work on the Saturday in factory, okay? Until 12 o'clock. So uh, that's why it says Saturday. You guys work on Saturday? One of the luxuries of Dominican Republic work on Saturday. Here we work Saturday and Sunday. They are Saturday to 12. Uh, so this is it's a fantastic. Now, in the bottom of this is a little rating sheet. And this is the same rating sheet that we use on the factory for us, okay? It tells you the aroma, and you can choose from one to five. It tells you the burn, the body, all of these things. And this is the same one that we use when we sit down. We like this, we like this. Now, the truth of the matter is we have become more sophisticated, and uh, we have more experience, and sometimes we don't write it immediately. We keep it in mind. We try to write it because we do it so many planes that we forget sometimes until we retouch it again. But this is what the consumer will have. So this will go to the store. Only 3,000 boxes of this. They can go to our website, which is a uh, boutique plain cigar that comes from Ranger Room, and it will have the wild pack. They go in there and says, wild pack one, blend <coughs> this number, this number, and then a, a pop out, of, a, a little pop come in, and you can say the aroma and you rate this. Now, based on the best rating, it will help to determine when is the new release that we're gonna do for the small batch. So the M356 is already finishing, and this will help you to decide. And it comes in three in, in different wrappers, and it goes to my, to medium, no mild, medium, medium to full, to full body, okay? So each consumer will have. This idea came to me one time after I went to Napa Valley, and I went to the testing, right? The wine, and they do this, and this, and this, and that. I said, wow, okay? We do this in the factory ourselves. For those of you that have been on the factory, who's been here to the factory, by the way, to Cigar Factory? You? Which one you've been? Boya de Nicaragua. Boya de Nicaragua, your estate, fantastic. My father. You, my father. You guys are having, who else? Okay, well, we need to change this. We're gonna be preparing some trips to the factory. Let me tell you, we go very often, obviously, and it's like a shot of uh, adrenaline. adrenaline, every single one. It's just walking in the morning, and the sun, and I think we have some videos, by the way, okay, on our website, that Carlos will make sure you get it all, and it's about the factory, about the environment, but you have to be there, the sun, the smell, uh, all those things, the coffee, who likes Presidente beer, who ever tried Presidente beer, well, Presidente beer is what happened to be one of my favorite beers, but I can tell you, in Dominican, Presidente beer, 100 times better. <laughs> okay? Do you know that cigars do change flavor from the factory to here? Amazing. We were just talking about that. It changed the flavor. No idea why. The people from La Aurora tell me, President the beers, the same there, the same here. Tastes different. I don't know what it is. Maybe the aroma, maybe, I don't know. Okay. 
So this will allow us to come out with the new, the new one. So this is a wild pack, and the stores will have that. Any question about the wild pack? How, how long is the um, project going to go on before you uh, end Only it? Only 3,000 boxes. As long as we get all that information, we're looking perhaps October, November, release of the new plan. Okay. Of the new plan. So how do, how do uh, the retailers participate in that? The retailer participated by buying this. By the way, we only on online sales. We only sell this on brick and mortar stores. And the and the retailer will tell the information to the consumer. They can go and rate this. Okay. Now the next thing we did, guys, that you have there is the aging room adu. We work on this for a long time. In my opinion, there's just not a lot of good maduros in Dominican Republic. Grown in Dominican. So this in is eh? in any country. Well, in any country. There are very few good Maduro specimens. Very, very few. Yeah, very few. This is a Nicaraguan Maduro. We got this in the factory a long, long time ago. Since we came with the swag, since we came out with the engine room, people, Maduro, Maduro. And actually got offers from many manufacturers. We'll do your Maduro. We'll do your Maduro. We waited because we have a vision of where we want it to go. I don't have to tell you, it's a business. And as a business before, I would have released a cigar that it was okay. And there, 